Oh, okay. As soon as I start, they'll start calling us on, because now you know, like, I'm waiting to get on my plane, right? Flip the camera, hello. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> Great business guy right here. Anyway, I'm uh, flying out of Toronto. We had a good time in Toronto, didn't we? We had a great time. Lance did a good job. We were out. Thank you so much. We were with uh, Dennis Peacock and the Canadian Apostolic Coalition of Ministries. And man, we're standing. The flight's delayed taking off, isn't it? Wait, how many miles do you fly a year? A lot? You know, I don't know. I, I guess I, I never either. kept track. I don't a either. Lot. That's when you know it's a lot. All right, people, we're going to wander because as soon as I take off down the road and start talking to you, you watch. They'll start boarding. It's just like the. I'm not trying to make a negative confession, it's just the way it works. So anyway, great conference up here. Oh, they're calling us. And uh, you know what? It was a lot, so much revelation was going on. And here's what some Dennis Peacock said, and I totally agree with him. He said, you know what we're praying for? Pray for time, like with these economies. These economies are in trouble. We have got to rise up. We've got to rise up. And... Uh, you know, the warfare in the political arena is just so intense. I'm not going to say who, but somebody just came out with a major article recently and said that they can't understand how anybody could be um, supporting any candidate but their own candidate, which in this case is Ted Cruz. And I just, I'm going nuts with this. Is a, this is a well-known Christian writer. Does it ever occur to us that we want to have saints in Caesar's household? We want to have believers in, listen, if it's a Democrat, I want Christians there. I want them in proximity. We need Joseph wherever Pharaoh is. I don't care whether it's a Trump Pharaoh, a Hillary Pharaoh, a Bernie Pharaoh, oh, a Kasich Pharaoh, a Ted Cruz. I don't think he's a Pharaoh. I think he'd be more like a you know, a believer in the White House, but you get it? We have to be in proximity to power. The Apostle Paul said, pray for rulers and all that are in authority. And he said that while Nero was flipping on the throne. My gosh, Christians are daffy. Why do we say stuff that, you know, we can't, we can't allow people the liberty to think differently. Rick Joyner wrote a brilliant article as a Facebook post. He said that he's got people on his board that are consulting and advisors to each candidate. I think he's talking about probably Republicans. And uh, we all get along. I'm on his board, and it's true. We all have we all have different opinions, and we are like best friends. We love to yuck it up and share viewpoints and iron sharpens iron. The Christian community needs leadership that are comfortable with different opinions because let's face it, what we've been doing hasn't been working, so we need to think outside the box. I got an idea. The latest idea, like, oh, by the way, I got an invitation. I gotta go Monday back to Trump Towers. I don't look for these things, people. I got the call. It's like, gotta go back. I'm going back. I'm gonna be working on a diversity coalition, a national diversity coalition, Arabs, Asians, Hispanics, African Americans, and um, you know, it's mostly minorities. And I asked them, I said, why are you guys calling me? I'm not a minority. They said, well, you're a Caucasian. You're a future minority. <laughs> I'm a future minority. I said, well, on that basis. So I want to go represent small business. You see, we have to be able to walk like an Egyptian, but think like a Jew. We have to be able to talk Babylonian and think like a Hebrew. We have to be able to go in as ambassadors for Christ, even if uh, small business is our, is our field. And I am a small businessman. I'm only five foot ten and a half, and that's pretty small. Kidding. Anyway, um, I'm going to do this. I want you to pray for me. I want you guys to pray for me. And pray that I don't do my amazing shrinking act. You know what happens sometimes when I get in environments, like I just spoke to like a whole bunch of people here, I'm dealing with leadership. You know, wherever you're familiar, you can be bold and confident. But then what God does is he takes you outside the familiar and puts you where you're not familiar. And if you're going right back to adolescence again and you're back to being self-conscious and uncertain. And this is, this is just human nature, I think. Whenever you're not 
whenever you're in a new area where you could fail or mess up, you, you, you don't have confidence. Most people retreat to the familiar. They retreat to what they already do well. Um, but I, I have a tendency sometimes when I get into these environments to not uh, show up as strong as I should. And then, of course, the Lord outs me. Somebody, you know, will always say, well, what does Lance Wall now think? And I have to talk. Just pray that I have boldness and utterance. Two words. I want you to pray for me on Monday because I really don't have an agenda. I'm just called to go and I'm going to go back up to the Trump world and uh, meet with the Trump Meisters. Perhaps the Meister Trump himself. And uh, I really uh, don't have a clue yet as to what the Lord wants to do. But I know I'm going because the Lord's got me going. So, check this out. It's interesting, huh? I'm on one of those escalators. Oh, now they're boarding. So I have to go now. You know, the day that the grace comes off of flying, boy, will it be a hard stop for me because I got a grace for this. I'm constantly going through these strip searches through bomb checking out, you know, security. I got to get on a plane, go jockey around here. But uh, the grace of God's on it. God gives you grace for the uh, for the journey. Anyway, pray for um, the divisions in the body of Christ. I'm really I want to have a unity conference so that Christians and evangelicals can heal up after the convention in Cleveland, because the way Christians are getting worked by the devil, you'd think that we were all natural enemies, and we're not. We're supposed to be as one. By the way, you notice how many people are hijacking that as one? Am I prophetic or what? There's as one universities, as one books, as one prayer movements, as one conferences. And I should have done an as one book. Anyway, I love being prophetic. I love you guys. And I'm going to go back and struggle my way through the mass of sweltering humanity. They're loading business. They're loading business? Okay. Yeah. Say goodbye. See you on the flight. <laughs> okay, bye-bye, you guys. Talk to you soon.